Today we are going to create SAP UFI application using SAP Fury templates. To create a new application from scratch, from the left top side, you need to click on the file option. Once you click on file, you need to click on new project from template. Once you click on the new project from template, you will see different options to create different projects like adaption projects, CAP project, SAP HANA database project. For our case, for creating SAP UFI application, we'll click on the SAP Fury application and click on the start button. Now we need to select the application type. To create a SAP UFI app from scratch, we need to select SAP UFI Freestyle app. Once we select Freestyle, we get different template options. From this, we need to select SAP UFI application from scratch and click on next. Now it is asking for to connect with any data source. Right now we are just creating a hello world application. So we don't have to add it with any other data source. Data source means uh, from where we are going to consume the APIs, consume the service. So right now we are not going to select any data source. So I just select none since it's a mandatory field. So we need to select none and proceed next. Once you click on next button, now it is asking for view name. Instead of view one, I am giving app as a root view name. This is the name of your root view. Now it is asking for module name. We need to provide the module name project attributes. So module name would be displayed in this list. So we need to give module name in small letter and we can give module name as we are creating my bank detail application. So I can say my bank underscore details. This could be my module name. The app title could be my bank details because we are going to create one application. So I just give the name as my bank details. For application namespace, usually for which company you are creating, you need to give that name. Assume you are uh, creating the software for IBM, you need to give com.ibm. If you are creating the software for EY, you need to give com.ey. For our case, we are not creating the uh, this application for uh, specific for any company. So we are giving com.sap for all the projects. We'll keep the same application namespace. This namespace is part of the URL once application runs that I will show you later. Now the description you can give it is a fury application or whatever the description you want to give i'm just keeping it as it is this is the project folder path home user and projects so if you can see on the left hand side this is the projects folder inside this folder this application would be created and uh, this is the minimum sap fi version so he, here are the maintain version list you can select uh, whichever version you want to select and add deployment configuration right now we are not going to deploy this application so we are selecting it as no add flp means fury launchpad configuration we are selecting it no because we are not going to do any flp configuration here and configure advanced options we are selecting no because we are not going to configure any advanced option right now and just click on the finish button now the application would be generated it would be an empty app uh, that I would show you even we will run the application if you will notice the my bank underscore details this application on the left hand panel this application is available node modules are automatically added and uifi.yml file is added and the web app folder is added inside the web app folder we have the controller and the view the actual code of our application the component file and the index.html file let's run the application to run the application on the left side, there are different options. You need to click on this run configuration button. Once you click on this, it will here you have to create a new configuration. So click on this plus icon on the top. Once you click, it will provide you which application you want to run. So I want to run my bank underscore details this application. So it will create a separate configuration to this particular app and it will run the application using local port.
which file exactly we want to run. This is a mandatory field. So we need to give index.html because locally we want to run the index.html and the whole file, other views, everything would be loaded inside it. You need to, and there are other options like you want to select mock, uh, you want to run the application using mock data or you want to run with support assistance. So right now we are not going to use these components like URL components if you want to add view cache. And so we are we are just keeping it as it is and we are not making any changes at any place. The only thing we are making changes, we are selecting the file name that we want to run index.html. Just save it. The configuration is created. My bank underscore details config one my bank underscore details config one you can run it by clicking on this right side run icon and you can also run the same application by clicking on this green button run module i just click on this and the application would be running with debugger let's wait i just open the terminal so i can see what all things are running or is there any any break is there any bug or is there any issue in running the application that we can check in the debug console debug console you can open on or by clicking on this terminal option and new terminal once you click on new terminal you get the console and the debug console would be attached with it It might take some few seconds. Now the localhost is created. The port is 8080 and our application would be running on uh, this port. Now the application is initializing. So my bank details application is available. This is the root view, which is getting loaded here. And uh, the index file is loading all the things, all the necessary uh, required libraries and everything is loaded. Now we can do the custom development and we can start making changes uh, in this application. Thank you.